right, for the next portrait, we're going to be doing it in Picasso style. These are going to always going to be super fun because they're not supposed to look good. They look weird. For my Picasso portrait, I'm going to start off using the technique called blind contour. What that means is I'm going to draw a drawing. I can lift my pencil up, but I cannot look at my paper. Okay, so I have a picture up on my computer that I'll be looking at and I'll be drawing it in the Picasso style. So to start off with, we're going to do plain contour. I'm going to go ahead and I see a kind of round shape here. Just like that. Good. It doesn't have to make sense. There's wavy lines that kind of go down. Just like that. Again, these are just gonna Eventually, I'm going to go in. I'm going to make it look more like me. But this is a fun way to start. All right, we got maybe the eye right here, eye right here as well. There's the eyebrow and the eyebrow and the hairline. How I do? Yeah, it looks kind of weird. So now, once you have a blind contour, that gives you a kind of starting point. And it looks like I put my eye right here in the middle of the nose. That's going to look kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go back in, erase the nose, but I like the idea of adding the, the eye in. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So for my eye, I'm going to do the sign of the Deathly Hollows. Picasso uses geometric shapes to show f futures of people. So that's why I'm doing this. We got a circle here in the middle. Actually, let's do the circle first. Call yourself a Harry Potter fan and drawing it wrong. The circle always goes first. So we're going to draw the circle, then we have the elder wand in the middle, and it kind of goes up like that, and then around that I'm going to draw a triangle. There we go, that's much better. Alright, so when I'm coloring this in, this side might be one color, that different, I love, I love teal, so this side will probably be teal, that side will be purple, and maybe here we'll do different colors, I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to carry that elder wand line in. I'm going to draw my nose a little bit bigger, more di direct. Maybe here, I'll add a triangle for the nostril. And then I'm going to carry that line going down. I did not do my mouth. I kind of like Too Faced. So maybe this mouth will look normal. I'll do a normal looking mouth right here. Something like that. And then it loops over and makes kind of like an evil growling look. Picasso's not supposed to look good. I kind of like the shape of this, so I'm going to keep that there. We got my hair. I might loop over. Let's see. And draw circles in the middle there for my hair. If I want to go even crazier, I can draw triangles inside the circle, but that's a bit much. I actually kind of like that. And then for my other hair, we're going to draw geometric shapes and actually more wavy lines. Okay, we do have hair on this side, but I kind of like the shape of that face. Uh, I like that eye there. Let's do a realistic eye for change. So, in Greek mythology, there are these characters called the, th the Fates. They're three sisters, and they each have only one eye that they share amongst themselves. And that eye sees everything. I can see the future. So I was thinking of maybe adding a third eye here because I love Greek mythology and make it more in the Picasso style. Something like that. Maybe some zigzag lines for the hairline. All right. Got to do my shoulder now. Again, it does not have to make sense. <laughs> T 
to not stress yourself out about Picasso because it, the weirder it looks, the better it will be. Ooh, got an idea. When I was little, I had really bad hair day. And so my brother, he would call me, call me Medusa when I woke up in the morning. So on this side, what if I drew a Medusa kind of hair? Okay. And make snakes. I kind of like that. Maybe instead of doing realistic snakes, I'll have zigzag lines here. Think about how you can do Picasso style, but may still make it you. Incorporate things that you like. If you have a favorite video game, like say Minecraft, how can you incorporate that in your design? Me, I'm a huge dork. I love mythology, love Superman, Harry Potter. So Superman, I can take this here and make it the Superman shape, sort of. Let's see. And do a pattern like that. Sort of. You can even do an S in the middle, like a snake woman. The old Superman comics, this is what the logo was. It didn't have the really weird S. It was just a plain old S. So I have the basic sketch done now. The next step, once you have... A when you're doing Picasso, I recommend doing at least two sketches, just, you know, for practice. And then for your final project, you can choose whatever medium you want to do. You can do watercolor, you can do color pencils, mixed media. If you choose, we have different paper for each one. If you're doing mixed media, I, choo I will choose the mixed media paper. If you are doing watercolor, obviously you're going to want to have watercolor paper. And you can also use watercolor paper for acrylic, but do not use too much water with that. Okay, so I kind of like this sketch, but for my next drawing, I'm going to do focus more on the snake hair part. I definitely want to include this emblem here with the diamonds and the S in the middle, and maybe do more here. Okay, this is the stage where you're going to be looking at some examples of Picasso online. Look at how he drew the eyes. And so this here, I just drew from memory. So I'll, for my next drawing, I will go back, look at some actual examples and try to draw more in the style of Picasso. Okay, so this mouth probably will need some help. Here over here will need some help. This here, you're gonna be doing two sketches. One of them, you're gonna to choose to turn into me on Google Classroom. And then for your final one, you're going to choose the fancy paper to draw it on and choose your medium. Medium is a fancy word for art tools. So if I'm saying I'm doing a watercolor painting, my chosen medium is going to be watercolor. If I say I'm doing acrylic painting, I'm going to be doing acrylic for my medium. If I'm doing digital, your medium is going to be whatever software you're using. Usually I use Procreate. So that will be my medium is Procreate. So if you choose this, once again, do two sketches, choose one that you like, and then for your final one, you're gonna do it on the fancy paper, okay?